Hey folks, I'm back with another video. I've been working on a, uh, on a vice clamp, is what I call it. Sorry about the noise, I got the, the face converter running in the middle running. So it's, you're gonna hear some back background noise from that. But, I've been uh, going through a few iterations of this clamp. This is meant to register over a, you know the foot on a vice, it's got a, a boss with a hole in the middle. This registers over that. This hangs off the table, and then this little bottom jaw screws in and tightens. I've got one bolt to tighten, one bolt to push, right, so I can get nice, strong, even pressure to hold that vice in place. I've got uh, a 3 8 I believe it's 3 8 inch plate seal top on my bench, and I don't want to drill a hole through it, so I want three of these. I already have two, uh, version one, version two. Um, already done and I'm gonna do the third here a different iteration I'm gonna stick the camera in front of the mill <laughs> you'll get a nice glare and hopefully make out uh, this part I've already I've already uh, done up one where I've uh, faced this contoured it I flipped it in the vise G54 is on the bottom of this part and center of my work coordinates and uh, now I'm going to mill on all these features. So, hope you enjoy it. Cheers.
It's not supposed to do that. Okay, we're gonna run with it. Okay, so there's up, or the first part, I guess you'd call that up one. Um, I don't know if you can ma make that out in the shadow. This darn new phone. I miss my old phone. This one, jury's still out. So there's the iteration one. Keeps focusing on something I don't want it to focus on. I don't know if you can make that out. Here's iteration two. Um, basically, between one and two, I made this jaw bigger. It was only about 10, 12 millimeters before and it was easily bending open. This is just out of mild steel. And then I, uh, I pocketed these regions out to kind of mimic, you know, like a, like an extrusion or a beam or a ladder. So it won't as easily bend down. So again, this tightens it. This counteracts, you know, this pushing so it pushes back and then this is version 3 it's a little more compact than version 1 some of the corners are uh, taken off for comfort and this is probably the worst milling I've done on on the style I mean it looks nice uh, I started with a face <laughs> I forgot to program in a half 13 tap so I'm gonna have to do that by hand. Um, the Sile does an excellent job on tapping, uh, both uh, standard tapping and tap with chip break. But you can see, and I've noticed this with a lot of my parts, my probe is off in the Y. Um, you, can, you can see where you know a contour ends up here and then a contour ends here. And then when I'm doing a contour, I've been messing around with some of the settings, but I don't have it yet. It's sniping really bad. I think that I had it, I was rolling in at about 20 degrees, but it's just, I gotta do something different. So I'll take a look at that. When I, in Mastercam, I, it doesn't do that at all. But here in, in uh, Fusion 360, it does. Also, I don't know why, but when that, parallel was rolling around the corner 
it was taking, yeah, I did a parallel, not a parallel, uh, a ramp tool path to, with, a, with a quarter inch ball nose to, to get this rounded step. When it rounded this corner, it actually milled into my model, which it wasn't supposed to. So, and I'll probably leave it in the video. You'll notice when it started this ramp, it started to go in this hole. Now I, I have fenced this off, this whole area from being milled in Fusion 360. But then when I, re, when I uh, updated my, my tool offsets and regenerated my tools, it popped into this hole. I don't know why. I, and I double checked. I clearly said only machine here, but uh, sometimes Fusion 360 just does what Fusion 360 does. Another thing I've noticed is right here. There's a little, there's a little piece of metal left behind, and and it's done that before when it's done some type of helical removal. If I'm not actually saying surface this, it'll leave a little nub, which I'll just grind off. Not a big deal. In fact, I'm going to take this to the grinder. Uh, this 2x72 and it will uh, smooth this up right quick all right stay tuned for the other half ciao